Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to take a look at the new web client uh, for Starship in 19.1. All right, so here is the new look of Starship. As I mentioned, everything's browser-based. I'm running this in Google, but you have the ability to uh, run that in any of your popular browsers. Uh, you have over here where you can scan or enter in the sales transaction that you want to ship against. You can also customize this view of your orders here by selecting the number of records that you want visible. Any of the headers that you see here that you want to be able to sort by, you can change those here by eliminating fields from that view. And then you also have the ability to add filters. So if you want to drill down into a subset of data, maybe look at a particular batch over the date range, a certain customer, you have the ability to customize that view. You also have over here to the right of each transaction, the ability to look at additional details, or you can just click on the truck icon and that'll take you into the shipment, or you have the create shipment icon over here that'll pull everything over from GP, bring that into the web client, and you can get started with your shipping process. You'll notice here, instead of all the tabs, you have everything presented to you on the same screen. And any missing details from any of the widgets will immediately draw your eye to that by the red coloring here. If you want to drill into one of those widgets, you can just click on the pencil icon there, and that'll bring you into that view. You can also invoke the packing assistant from here. So I'm going to switch to the packing assistant. This is where we can go in and assemble our shipment. So a couple new controls over here. Um, you can drag and drop things. You can also uh, take uh, an item here and move that over to the package area to the right. From here, you have the drop down for all of your different types of packaging. You can select that here. We can also add a box here. And then we can drag and drop product from the left to the right. To expand that view, click on the plus sign here, and that'll expand the view to show you the box to the item and then which order that came from. You can move product between containers in this view as well. You can unbox that. You can add items directly from the Starship uh, database if you have uh, inventory that you need to add on the fly. And you can also delete packages here. Go ahead and switch back to the shipment editor. Once we have our packages defined and the weights in the system, Starship's going to go ahead and rate that out. Again, you can customize a view here based on the fields that you want to see. So the views are highly customizable to eliminate any extra fields that you may not want to see on the screen. And you can also control the number of records that will appear there. Uh, Starship will rank all of these results here from the cheapest down to the most expensive. So really, as the look and feel of Starship have changed, the underlying functionality is essentially the same. Things are just located in some different areas on the screen, but it should be a pretty easy learning curve for any of your existing users to get trained on the system, and you'll be able to use this in parallel with a desktop client. We'll go ahead and keep it with the EPS ground service that came over from GP, and I'll process the shipment here. Now your labels will print. And we'll come back over here and process our next shipment. Next, we're going to take a look at the dashboard. Here you have the new view that can be invoked here from the upper right-hand corner. Have some other controls over here as well. You have the setup menus, help, you can get back to the home screen here, or you can click on the Starship icon. We also have a little status over here if you click on the document. That'll give you a quick snapshot of all of the transactions that you've processed recently. You can quickly navigate to those. And a status here from the uh, connector, which is the piece that's handling all the communication between Starship and its database, the ERP, and any of the peripherals that are hooked in, so you'll have uh, some printing feedback there. We look and feel here on the dashboard, uh, where you have all of your uh, reports and widgets over here. So these are accessible as tables, charts, 
And then we have the new map here where you can see all of the activity on your Starship system. So you'll have hotspots that'll show up here on the map, letting you know where you're shipping to most frequently. Come back home again. And so first we processed a parcel shipment. Next we're going to go through and process an LTL shipment. So I'll select that record here and we'll go ahead and ship that out. Same sort of process with LTL. Really the main difference is you have uh, packages and pallets. So you have the three layers of packaging, items, boxes, and pallets. Take a look at some more of these uh, widgets here. We can kind of drill down into these transportation information. Now, any of these widgets you can leave uh, checked and leave that area expanded and open here and you can just navigate onto the next area. You can close that up. All of your shipment options are here. Go ahead and switch to packing assistant and pack this one up. So here I have my loose items. Again, I can add a box here and drag and drop those over. Or I can select the item that I want to ship. And I can move that over here to be packed. I could also drag and drop items between packages. And select my packing here. And then the same process for palletizing our goods. I can go ahead and add a pallet. I can take my product and put it on that pallet. We could add a second pallet if we want to move that over on an individual pallet. Or I can put everything on the same pallet. All right, once we have everything packed up here, we can go ahead and switch back over to the shipping screen. From here we can do some rate shopping between all of our LTL carriers. And we'll go ahead and take a look back in GP at the results. Starship will continue to update uh, GP in the same fashion. We're going to put all of our notes in here. Update the batch ID. Insert freight. And then also the tracking information into the tracking table. Costs as well can also be captured and inserted back into the user-defined fields. I hope that gives everyone a sneak peek at what we have in store for you with Starship and the web client.